Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play FTL Faster Than Light. We'll continue our old game here. We were... Yeah, I think we were just like going into a new... No, we weren't just going into a new sector, but we just found this store. We're still tearing stuff up with our anti-ship drone. That's about as much as I remember. I do these recaps as much for myself as for you guys. So we're in this store. We don't really have the money for much. We don't need any, any of these provisions here. I don't really want to sell anything either. Everything is pretty useful that we have, so we're just going to move onward. There's the exit right there. I don't think we're going to have much choice but to shoot past the exit, because I don't want to try to like do some of that nonsense. <laughs> the rebels are definitely going to catch us trying that. So let's head to the exit. We might overshoot the exit a little bit and then come back. A little bit of a waste of fuel, but, you know. Alright, so we're fighting Mantis. They do have a crew teleporter, which could be a little bit of a pain, but we have a shit ton of crew members. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I really like to upgrade to this pike beam where possible, but first thing we're going to do, anti-ship mark 2 is basically going to continue doing its job of destroying everything. We're going to try to get their weapons offline as much as possible. Auto-fire it. And the mantis came into the pilot bay. Try to figure out the best way to funnel oxygen out of there without causing problems for us. Because they'll just walk straight into the weapons room if I do it this way. So I don't think I want to do that. Instead, we're just going to send another mantis in there and try to take this guy out. Should be, like, two mantises on one mantis should be no problem. And in the meantime, our drone should be just tearing their shit up right now. Let's send Rockman in to help fix the engines. Not a like substantial problem for us but a problem nonetheless I don't know why that shit wasn't powered up <laughs> that's that's not good at all okay excellent the invaders dead the ship is down we got a little bit of useful stuff could really use more fuel it's too bad the store didn't have any more we could upgrade our ship a little bit <clears throat> we're very close to being able to power up the pike beam so let's just save up another two scrap and then we'll do that um, yeah, so I guess now let's head to the exit, unfortunately. It's kind of an annoying layout in this nebula. Nothing here. I'm low on fuel, but I think I am just going to jump here and then straight back to the exit. It will waste one fuel, but could potentially get rewards here. You don't want to try to power through... Oh, come on, there's nothing there. Alright, you don't want to power through the early sectors too quickly because... Like, when you get to the later sectors, you are in huge trouble if you haven't pressed every advantage you can find. Let's hit the NG homeworlds. And just keep trying. Make sure everything's repaired. Sometimes I'm an idiot about that. Let's get back, this guy back to his area. And Davian is our pilot. So Matthew, you hang out near the weapons bay. Just good to have the crew spread out, have people good at everything near everything. So that way, if something goes bad, you can get people there quickly. Um, these guys want to give me one fuel, two missiles, 17 scrap. They don't look super powerful. I don't think. Only two shields, not too much stuff. Yeah, let's power up anti-ship mark to auto-fire on their weapons. And to see what happens. They don't have a teleporter or anything, so basically I can just watch this fight play out. Hopefully. This guy will start doing damage. He is indeed. Oh, they've got a missile launcher that I'd really like to stop firing at us. Uh, Rockman, why don't you just get in there and put out those fires rather than risking any crew on it? Because, of course, Rockman is immune to fire, which is pretty goddamn handy. Or I didn't mean rather than mis risking any crew, I meant rather than, um, you know, dealing with the opening of the doors to clear out the oxygen. Super handy having a rock man. I think this might be the first time that I've had one. We, I, we need to focus on their shields instead. Because, yeah, this guy's not actually doing damage, which is a problem for us. He's doing a little bit, but it's going to take a while. We might need to jump out of here, which would really suck. Oh shit, they, they broke the drones. Yeah, just jump. 
We really need that too, Scrap. I should have just taken their offer. Do we really need another Mantis? No, I'm just gonna offer up the Mantis in exchange for a bounty because also our weapons are on fire right now, so we're no in no position to fight. So we got quite a bit of scrap. That's excellent. You guys just get out of there. You're not gonna do anything there. We're gonna open up all these doors. And that should put the fire out, no problem. Maybe send Rockman in there. Nah, just, just keep on fixing the drones. Keep doing what you're doing. It's fine. And then as soon as the uh, the fires go out, ah, we took a whole damage. Oh well. As soon as those fires go out, we'll send people in to fix it. Come on. How, how are you spreading? There's no oxygen in there. You can't burn with no oxygen. That's not how it works. Alright. So let's send both of our NGs in here, I think, to fix that. Why, why not send the free agent mantis as well? They might take a little bit of damage. Nah, not even. They're totally fine. Then Rockman, you can just hang out in the oxygen room as per usual. Now let's figure out shield head goes back to the shields. Weapon butt, you stay in the weapons. And who's this guy? Matthew. Yeah, you can just hang out in the weapons as well. Now we can upgrade our weapons, which is turning out to be essential. And uh, I'll get a power bar as well, and that will allow us to fire up our pike beam. As well as we just take the med bay offline. Uh, we can power up the anti-ship. Not right now, obviously, but later on. So let's keep on exploring. What's this? Oh, a hostile enemy was left behind at that location. We might be able to go back and kill him, but I don't really feel like it. Um, two shields. Let's try out our new beam. Let's attack. So... We'll auto-fire on their weapons as usual. They are going to pe put people on our ship. That shouldn't be a big problem. And then as soon as the shields go fully down, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, we got two mantises fighting the Rockman in the oxygen bay. Let's send a mantis in there to help. I think if Rockman tanks, we should be in a pretty good position here. Okay. Oh, we have to wait for the pike beam to charge up anyway. Alright. You get out of there. You're slow as hell. We need that drone control back online right now you need to get to the that place let's pop open some why can't I open doors there we go let's do it that way and hopefully those mantises will just kinda die uh, pike beam is fully charged so now we just need to wait for the uh, that's not good. Oh, right, we don't even have blast doors. I forgot about that. That's a huge problem for us. Okay, we... We need to power up the med bay! Oh, no. And our anti-ship drone. And then you go fix the oxygen. Close all the doors. You go help fight the mantises. Pike beam, go. Wait, their shields just came back online, didn't they? Damn it. There's too much to think about. Okay, you need to get to the med bay. You go help fight the mantises off. You get back this way. You go help. Okay, shields are down. Wow, that's a big line. Okay. What can we do with this? I want to hit as many rooms as possible with this laser. I'm thinking this is the best way. Maybe not. Hang on. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do that. Damn it. <laughs> we only did a little bit. But we did take their shield or their pilot bay offline. Okay, how are we doing on health? Everybody, Nobody's about to die, so that's fine. Oxygen's back online, which is great. You can go hang out in the med bay. You go help in the fight. They just teleported it, reported off. Okay. Excellent. So everybody just get back to where you belong. Is that our shields? I think that's our shields. They just eye on our shields with a four? That's bad. Okay. Um, Davian piloting. Okay. Should be in a good position now.
kind of why is this guy not attacking the shields at all that's really bad if you would just damage their fucking shields we would be in a much better position okay um Gumpo, you can ha go hang out over there. Pilot phase. Oh, you need to be on engines, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, I need to let the pike beam charge now. Damn it. Okay, we need to turn on the oxygen. That would be good. We're taking a lot of damage here. This is really unfortunate. Anti-ship drone does not uh, scale well into the mid-game, it looks like. <laughs> this is really sad. Okay. Oh, shit. We need to fix that immediately because without our drone like what are we even gonna do get that back online quickly because we can't really shoot at them until we do that they have a really good ion weapon now we fuck up their shields and their weapons yes that was good okay now they're in trouble okay so that really went worse than it could have at the beginning excellent so we got a crew member as well. Another NG. Let's see. We need somebody in this area who's good at repairs. So you can hang out with the rock man in the oxygen room. And we've got NGs kind of all throughout the ship to do repairs for us, which is great. And I am really nervous about the amount of whole health we have now. That fight went way worse than it should have. And yeah, we just lost all the wrong systems at the, at the wrong time. Okay, let's have our NG uh, talk to these NGs. Okay, we can offer our help with something. Okay, so the Mantises are cooperating with the Rebels to steal some technology. We can track them down. Excellent. Okay, we need to hit this store. And then we need to try to get to that quest marker as quickly as possible. That makes me a little bit nervous, but we really need this store. There's nothing we can do about that. We need to fix our hole, even though it's going to put us in a bad spot with staying ahead of the rebels. Is there anything we can sell? Not really. I need more fuel as well. Hopefully we'll get some more soon. Okay, this is good. Yeah, we can go here and then jump from here directly to the quest. And hopefully that will keep us ahead of the rebels. Wow, holy crap, a weapon is just floating in space. Excellent. Uh, whole missile is great. Um, now we can use some of these missiles that we have. So when we're in a situation where the pike beam is not useful because, for example, um, they have a lot of shields, then we can just fire up whole missile instead. Uh, one missile, two damage, and it does four damage if you hit a systemless room, which is a lot of damage. So that could be useful for us. Okay. So, we need to turn on the whole missile to start powering away at their weapons with that, and said they're trying to get away, so let's whole missile their weapons. Let's turn on our anti-ship drone as well. We got intruders here. Let's send another mantis. Two humans versus two mantises should be no contest whatsoever. It would be great to power up the medbay to the point where I'm going to do it. So that will make our combat more effective. Let's see if our... Ah! Missile missed. That's no good. We need to take out something that quickly so that they don't uh, fly away. Hopefully, yeah, go for their engines. Good job, drone. It really sucks not being able to control the uh, the drone. Close all doors here. Excellent. Pilot's down. Let's whole missile the engines instead. Shields are fixed. Teleporter's completely offline so they can't come back on our ship even if they wanted to. Uh, demand information. Uh, let's just attack these guys. They're pretty much dead. I don't think they have a chance against us. Excellent. So thanks for the information. Sorry, guys. Their engines are offline. I don't think we need to waste any more missiles here. Might as well keep it powered up, but don't fire them anymore. 
And our anti-ship drone should take them out. They can't jump right now. Oh, unless they fix their engines like that, but yeah, too late. And we got some stuff. Especially important is that three fuel. That's going to let us continue living, essentially. <laughs> that's, that was really good. Um, it would be good to continue upgrading our weapons, but that's going to be expensive. Right now we need blast doors. It's only 20 scrap. It's going to make engagements with invaders so much easier. I'm also going to blow 25 on sensors. That will allow us to see what's inside enemy ships. And let's keep on powering on toward this other quest marker. We don't want to let this get away. Wow, free weapon. Firebomb, not so useful to me. Ah, I wonder if it's better than the whole missile. It just lights fires, it doesn't do any damage. I've never tried it before. And it uses missiles. So it's an expensive fire lighter. I'm not sure how useful that would be. I think I'm probably just going to sell it and stick with whole missile, because doing whole damage can be important sometimes. Let's hit this quest marker, and then we should have time to get to the exit after we do that. Excellent. Okay, and now they're trying to power up their engines, so again, oops, no, ion blast for the weapons so that they stop attacking us. Whole missile for, first off, let's go for pilot, power up our anti-ship drone as per usual, and power up this. They don't have any invaders, so we shouldn't have to worry about the medbay too much, or they don't have a teleporter, I should say. So if we get the pilot offline, then their FDL will stop charging immediately. Come on, you can do it. We're doing a great job keeping their weapons offline. Ah, the missile missed. That's so annoying. Okay, their shields are damaged enough that instead of that, I'm going to get the pike beam up. Oh, never mind. Their shields aren't damaged at all. Oh, well. Let's try it anyway. Their shields have been going down periodically. So we can just get a hit off while their shields are fully down. I really wish the pike beam had been fully powered there. Please attack something useful here drone let's do that for now that's not the best way but it is gonna hit pilot and engines which is great okay excellent I don't want to auto fire that so stop it okay so every time their shields go down fully I'm gonna pause and see if I can pike beam excellent okay continue taking this stuff offline demand information I can't kill them? Come on. Oh well, that's fine. Alright, so we got the coordinates that we needed. And it's in the next sector, it looks like. I'd like to go to that distress beacon, but I'm nervous that the rebels would outpace us. We're just gonna go here and then to the exit. Three shields. Stay out of that. We don't really have what it takes to take out a three shield ship right now. Speaking of which, we should really upgrade our shields. Only two is not good for this part in the game. Um, we have enough crew that I feel like we can afford to maybe lose somebody from this. No! Who, who do we lose? Hopefully none of the people who are in charge of systems. Yeah, just the last guy. That NG that we picked up earlier. I thought NGs were immune to disease. Maybe it's just some diseases. Anyway, let's exit. Uh, civilian or Zoltan? Zoltan can be kind of a pain in the ass, actually. They, they have energy shields, and all the time, Border Patrol comes up to you. And is just like, fuck you guys, we're gonna kill you. Alright. So now, we're in a nebula, which I don't really like. But it looks like, okay, there's our quest marker, so we're going to want to get there as quickly as possible. So, can I jump from here to here? I hope so, but I'm not convinced I can. Let's try it anyway. We should at least be able to get out of the nebula after this. Okay, we're just boarded. That's no problem at all. Ah uh, man, it sucks being in a nebula because my scanners aren't functioning at all, so that scanner update I did uh, recently is useless. Power up medbay, and just try to figure out where they are. Look for... Hey, there they are. They're in there. So let's just... Ah, fuck it. Let's just... Yeah, good luck, guys. They should be starving out pretty quickly here. 
Wow, there's four of them. Get out of there, NG. You're not prepared for this. Okay, close all doors. Um, let's get Rockman in here as well. Four invaders is bad news. I don't want to let them do any hole damage if I don't have to. Okay, so you guys get to the med bay quickly. NG, you just get out of the way. Rockman, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Oh, man. Forget how slow Rockmen are. Why are you guys attacking us? There's no ship that's gonna save you. You're obviously gonna die here somehow. If you manage to destroy my ship from the inside, all that's gonna happen is you are going to die. Okay, let's open these. Try to flush them out of there. They're all very low on health. So pretty soon they're gonna have to try to figure out a way out of there. Oh, good, yeah, try to break into the med bay. That's a smart decision. If they come into the med bay, they are screwed. So just close all... Eh. Yeah, that's the last one, looks like. Excellent. Let's go send an NG. And as many people as possible to go fix the engine room. Or not the, the engine room, the weapons room. So I think I only took one hole damage there, which is no big deal at all. Almost lost rock, man. That would have been really sad. Gumpo, you're my rock, buddy. Pun intended. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> Rockmen are a little bit sensitive about the fact that they are made of rocks. Um, yeah, that's all good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get our weapons power back up. And jump to this distress call. I guess, yeah, I can't get up here, obviously, but I can get here, which is good. <clears throat> Giant alien spiders. Do I want to risk losing another crew member? They can give you some good rewards if you're successful. Let's do it. Damn it. Who do we lose now? That really sucks. Do we lose uh, the guy in charge of shields? God damn it. Alright. Yeah, Matthew, you got promoted. You're in charge of shields. We're losing our NGs like crazy. That is so annoying. I can't believe the bad luck of losing two crew members in a row. It's garbage. Oh well. No fuel! God damn it! I didn't even realize I was so low on fuel. It's not like I could have done anything anyway. Still no contact. Oh, distress beacon on! That helps. Okay. Rebels are coming. No ships pass through the area. Come on! Uh, drone parts minus one for three fuel? Hell yeah. Okay, excellent. We're in a good position now. Well, not a good position. We need fuel desperately, but we're in an okay-ish position. Please give me a store or someplace I can get fuel. I could buy a slave, I could attack the slaver scum, which we're definitely going to do. And we're definitely going to kill them or take a plea bargain that involves fuel, because otherwise we are fucked. It would be great to get another crew member, but I just can't afford to make that sacrifice right now so we're going to auto fire that there they have two shields let's go ahead and drop a missile on their shields hopefully that missile will take their shields offline enough that we can just switch to the pike laser come on do something anti-ship drone all right missile yes missile hit take that offline turn on pike beam as soon as that charges, we'll be able to do some serious damage to them because their shields are fully offline. Shields are coming back quick though, they've got a rock band in there. Okay, next time their shields go fully off, they are. Okay, excellent. Um, hang on, let's get somebody to help Mantis repair. Uh, no! Yeah, use the beam as well. Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll go with that. Uh, nope, I don't want a slave. I just want to kill you. And indeed, that's exactly how that went down. God damn it, no fuel! Come on! Alright, we have a ton of money. I can do some upgrades, but like... For what? Um, we need to start putting power into engines. I don't want to put too much because I want to be able to buy a ton of fuel next time I see a store, but... 
Uh, the more engine power you have, the more dodge chance you have. That's extremely important against missiles. So we're going to do that. <clears throat> and jump. Still no stores, which is terrible. We have two more jumps. Please give me some fuel somehow. Aid the civilian ship. We have to do something here. Hopefully this guy will drop fuel when he dies. Um, yeah, auto-fire the weapons, whole missile on their shields to hopefully get us to the point where we can start using whole laser. Excellent. Weapons are partially offline. Excellent. Okay. So, pull up the pike beam. Our drone should start doing serious damage as well now that the shields are low. Just wait until the pike beam comes up. Wait until the pike beam... Okay, excellent. Now, what? <laughs> how can we do this most effectively? I think that's going to be pretty good. But, we could also... What if we're like... I'm trying to hit the pilot as well as the doors. Oh, uh, it's so close. I'm not sure that it will allow for it. Let's try that. I think that will do it. Yeah! That is such a good weapon when their shields are down. God damn it, no fuel. Come on. Yes! Okay, fuel. Excellent. Alright, we're still going here. Uh, we got tons of scrap again. Upgrade shields. Pretty substantially. Buy some power. And now, if we take down... I hate to do it, but take down engines one. Well, we can do that, but... Yeah, we're gonna... You guys know what I'm talking about. I want to have the shields fully up. But as quickly as possible, I want to get that engine bar back up as well. Store! Should I try to do the quest first? Yeah, there's no reason not to do the quest first. Store's not urgent. We can do that right afterwards. Finally caught up with the Mantis. Mantis ship manned by rebels. It's a Mantis ship with humans on it. What is this madness? Alright, we need to power down the engines one. Power up our anti-ship drone. Auto target. They have two shields, so we're gonna turn on the whole missile. Shoot that at shields. Auto target weapons. With our ion blast. Come on. They have a lot of evasion, which is a huge pain. Oh, okay, um... We don't really have a spare dude to go over and help fix the oxygen. We need to fix drones enough that I'm gonna willing to take somebody off of weapons to do it. And ignore the oxygen to do it as well. But it's very important. Oxygen isn't pressing yet. I guess in the meantime we can power that up. Uh, their shields are not down yet, unfortunately. Uh, we got fire in the door room. This is going poorly. They have a lot of weapons. Okay, they're okay. One more whole missile, and then we'll go ahead and power up the pike beam. That should hopefully allow us to do enough damage quickly enough. Uh, drone is back online, so fix the oxygen now. <clears throat> I'd really love... Yeah, you get back on the weapons. You're really important there so that we can fight effectively. Because we need this pike beam up as soon as possible. Okay. Shields are fully down. Just tear them up. Uh, what's the best way to do this? You gotta be a little bit OCD about your lasers to get as much as you can out of them. I think that's gonna hit all the rooms. Yeah! I love lasers so much. Okay, close all doors. Can't close all doors. Door systems are offline. Probably should have seen that coming. Okay, ship is dead. What did we get? Project XME-56, commissioned by Fe Federation Military Research Division. Advanced Stealth Cruiser! Project finished during Rebellion. Unable to reconnect with the... Okay, ask about the Mantis ships. Likely boy rebels. Avoid breaking non Russian pact. Transmit coordinates of Federation Command. 
Yes, ship unlocked stealth cruiser. Excellent. All right. Delivery of tech will assist in Federation cause. And he gave me 51 scrap and a firebomb. Another firebomb. I need to get to a store to sell that shit. Stealth ship has been unlocked. That is awesome. All right, now we need to fix the doors very quickly. You, like, loop around this way. I don't want you to go through the oxygen-deprived area over there. You come to... You. Come. And then, I guess as soon as you guys get the shields up, yeah. And let's turn on the med bay, obviously. And then as soon as everybody is healed, uh, you guys... I would just want these two. I don't want the mantis, because you're garbage at repairs. Get out of there. And then you guys go into the door and fix it very quickly. Excellent. Okay, doors are closed. Now it's not a big deal. Alright, so you guys just get into the med bay. I said get into the med bay. Very quickly, and then... Back to weapons with you. Gumpo, back to the oxygen room. It's been a successful episode. I'm happy about that. You're in charge of shields now, right, Matthew? Yeah. All right, let's get to the store and then try to hit the exit quickly. We're gonna buy some fucking fuel here, I'm telling you right now. Uh, let's sell both of our fire bombs. And we have a ton of scrap. It'd be kind of cool to get another drone, but I like can't power the ones I have, so. Let's buy all the fuel. I don't think there's anything super important to buy here. Crew teleporter could be fun, but I don't know. Seems risky. <clears throat> I'm not very good at like crew combat. And uh, besides that, I think we are all good. So we will go ahead and use that stuff to upgrade our ship. But before that, we're uh, coming in on the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Let's play FTL. Very exciting episode this time. After this run dies, of course, we'll try out the stealth cruiser. But in the meantime, just tune in next time to see what happens to the great ship, the SS Fuckery. I'll see you guys next time.